What's up, Voyagers? Welcome to another episode. Today, we are at Theodore Roosevelt National Park in North Dakota, which is our 16th national park that we've visited so far on our journey. So today, we're gonna go ahead and do one of the driving tours, which is about an hour and a half long, but promises to show us some wildlife, some prairie dog towns, and just get a really great view of the Badlands. It is absolutely beautiful here. When I thought of North Dakota, I just kind of thought of prairie lands, which it is, until we pulled up to this park. and. It's just absolutely gorgeous. We actually have two days to explore this park, which is awesome. And like Aaron said, we're gonna do a little driving tour today. We are hoping to see some buffalo or bison. Um, apparently in the mid 1800s, there were 30 to 40 million of them in this area. And due to hunting, they uh, became almost extinct. And so now today, because of national parks and because of conservation, they are back to their original numbers. So we're really hoping to catch some wildlife here in this park. It looks like it's gonna be a good one. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I'm just going. Let's go. <laughs> we're gonna go. We just saw prairie dogs. <laughs> They're so cute. They're sticking up in the little holes. We're getting out. <gasps> They're right here. <gasps> oh my God, he's right here. Look. So excited about these prairie dogs. It's been a long time since we've seen like wildlife that isn't usual in you know the majority of the US. So like prairie dogs and buffalo are gonna be one if we see those two that are unique to this area, which is so exciting. And they are so stinking cute. They're everywhere. There's hundreds of them. And there's they're called they live in what's called prairie dog towns. And so there's all these mounds in the field and they're all interconnected underground. And so they pop up and then they like bark at each other. They're like, meow. <laughs> they all talk to each other. It's so funny. Oh, super stoked. Super stoked about wildlife. We always get super stoked and we were pretty bummed in the last couple of places because we didn't see moose, which we were really hoping to see. So. Seeing some prairie dogs today is pretty sweet. So it is hot here. It's gonna be like 104 degrees this weekend, which is insane, but it's not so bad because we're officially back in dry heat. We're speculating that we think the continental divide, which we passed coming from Minnesota into North Dakota, is where maybe like the drop off from the more tropical, humid side of the country is, the East Coast into the desert. So, I like the theory. I'm gonna stick with it. It's definitely a drastic difference yeah. from there to here. And it's not, it wasn't even that far, but you know, we go from lush tropical to dry desert plains. It's friggin' awesome.
We just saw bison and we're turning around to go get them. Oh! <laughs> okay. We're getting a bison. There's been everything we wanted to see so far. Apparently we can also see porcupines, so that could be on the list for tomorrow's hike. Where are they? Oh, there they are. There they are. There they are. Let's go. driving this big loop and getting out and kind of doing these little mini trails and right now we're on the wind cave trail and it came up to this like river what is it the, Missou the little Missouri River I think it's called and it's nice we were hoping we'd come around the corner and it would be like the circle of life and there'd be like frolicking elk and sheep and stuff in there but I guess not there are some tracks down there in the mud though it's so pretty showered which was much needed we were like covered in a thin layer of dust it felt like everything was just dusty and now we're in bed and we're figuring out what we're gonna do tomorrow we are um, likely going to get up super early and try to be there at sunrise um, because it's gonna get too hot later in the day and we want to make sure we don't die <laughs> for lack of a better way to put it so we're trying to figure out um, which hike to do can we get in 10 miles? That's the questions we're asking. So you'll have to watch and find out next time what we do. Did you have a good day? I did. I'm just wiped. It's hot out there and heat really takes it out of me. And yeah. Now I just want to eat dinner and lay in bed and do nothing. That's what we'll do. Go to bed. All right, we're going by. I want to be like Prairie Dog. Go to bed at 8 o'clock. Oh, yeah, Prairie Dogs go to bed at 8 p.m. the ranger said and we thought she was joking but she wasn't apparently so today was super cool I don't know I had a great day we um, saw all those bison or buffalo it's the same thing I guess see bighorn sheep we didn't see bighorn sheep we and didn't that's like see sheep. the one thing I wanted <laughs> not it's not the one thing I wanted to see it's the one thing we didn't see that I wanted to see and there's supposed to be porcupines. Maybe we see that tomorrow. Um, but the buffalo and the prairie dogs, they were so funny. I was so excited. And it got to the point where at the end we were like, meh, we've seen them already. You know, they're just everywhere, which was so cool. And buffalo and the horses. I've never seen wild horses. I, like, didn't really know how that works. Like, they just live out there in the wild. And we came across a couple. And one of them... That one like ran up to the car yeah. and then like crossed the road. It was crazy. Emo horse. Yeah, he looked like Severus Snape. He had like an emo black hairdo. <laughs> All right, we're going to go to bed and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. <laughs> so if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. And if you like what we're doing, hit that like button. And make sure you tap that bell icon so you get a notification every time we release a new video. We'll see you next time. Bye. See ya.